Well, hello everybody and welcome to How Hard Can It Be? Episode 13, we're moving on quite nicely. Well, what have I got for you today? Well, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to finish off trimming uh, these dowels off with my new favorite tool, which is Bendy. So basically what I'm gonna do is cut these off and this is a dowel uh, saw. So basically what this does is it literally goes flush with the wood and you can bend it like so, and then you can cut it. But before we do that, we'll just cue that music, John. Oh, mm, John's away. Well, Filippo, what are you gonna do? I'll just have to do it myself. So I'll cue the music and we'll see you very shortly. Okay, so welcome back. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut these off. And what I like about this tool is it doesn't damage the actual wood itself. And basically what it does, it gives you uh, hey, an extra down. See you pal again. Yeah, thanks for calling in. Bye. See ya. Just an ex-customer of mine. Um, so basically, as I said, we've got an extra, uh, You've got a dowel there that you can keep. So I will keep that uh, for future jobs. And I'm bound to need it. So I'll just carry on cutting these. And you can see that this one is quite flush with the wood. So basically, even with it being so flush, I can still cut that without damaging this section here. See you later. So. So as you can see, that cuts it fairly flush. And then, and then obviously once it, uh, I, I don't need to go absolutely uh, flush, but I shall get my belt sander on it or, or my normal sander on, and I'll just go straight down these two uh, straights here. And um, I'll show you what I do there. And uh, we'll put some Danish oil on. So simple. ones I don't know how that picks it up does it And there we have it. Let's pick those up. So I don't know whether the camera can pick those up there. That's the balance of what's left. To me, that's not rubbish that I can use them again. Obviously, once they're sanded down, they'll look just like that. So that's the, uh, that's the blade. It's Canadian, actually. And I got it off eBay. And it was about eight pounds, eight pounds for that. That's worth its weight in gold, that. And basically, like I said, it's very flexible. And they are sharp, trust me. I've already chopped myself once. Right, okay, I shall nip across there, get that sander, and I'll just quickly go down these. I shall video that for a bit. Uh, when John comes back, he can edit and do whatever he has to do. So, uh, yeah, we'll just cut I'll just pause you for now. Right, so, Sander. <sighs> just gonna give a quick whisk all the way down these uh, two lengths. Uh, like I said to you before, these are already done and they're nice, they're nice and smooth, but I'm just gonna get these dowels uh, nice and flat. And then I'm just gonna use a one, 180 grit, I think it is. Uh, and I'm gonna hand uh, sand that just 
uh, just to smooth it out really nicely and then and we're going to clean this area up and mask it up uh, and then we'll put some uh, Danish oil on so hence the reason why I'm all well just protecting my clothes because this dust oh God, it gets everywhere right put the trusty mask on oh I might use the hood actually I don't want to ruin my hair do I There we go. Look like gas warfare. Obviously here, uh, we've got to be careful about that that edge there. That's an important edge because when we put the uh, the, the latter stages of this uh, straight on, uh, obviously the next piece is going to be cut at 45 degrees, which is what this is. And obviously you want a nice sharp finish. So if I round that off, it's obviously going to st stick out like a sore thumb. So you've just got to be careful about your edges uh, on there and on there. Just keep your uh, sander nice and flat. Okay, so I shall get the um, Henry Hoover out and I'll just suction that, suction that off uh, and then we'll have a quick look, see what we've got left um, and we'll just take it from there. I'll just put you on pause though for now. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone with the sander uh, over uh, both of them. Now you can see that they're quite flat, but what it has shown up is little um, spelches off around some of these dowels. Now they're not all like that, but there are some like that, and they, it happened to the ones on the other side. So basically I'm now going to use some of this, um, I hope the camera will focus in on that. It is Ron Seal wood filler in dark. It's suitable for walnut, chestnut, and teak. Uh, and I'm just gonna fill those in before I give it another Quick sand over, quite straightforward, blends in quite nice. And there you are. So I shall go around all the ones that need that. Uh, it dries very quick uh, and then we can get that sanded off. Oh, I can't see myself. There we go. Okay, so. We've sanded down and we've used the uh, finer grit sand as well now that the filler's uh, gone off and that is really nice and smooth now. So what I'm doing now is I'm using this tack cloth. I've just gone over with uh, suctioned all as much dust as I can get off uh, and I'm just using a tack cloth uh, just to clean off around there, that area now. I'm also cleaning just uh, this paintwork as well because I'm going to mask off the paint. And then we can uh, put some more uh, oil on. Like I say, this whole process doesn't take that long because most of the prep work was done before these pieces got onto the sides of the boat. So, there we go. And just go along. You don't need to see me do the bottom one. 
it'd be falling asleep. Okay, so we're at the stages now where we're going to use, you know, I've been saying, we're going to put the Danish oil on. I'm prattling on about that Danish oil. So I've already done that stage. We're on, what we're doing now is we're putting that matte varnish on. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put it on with this. I did it with the other side and it's absolutely brilliant using that. It's so quick. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so you can't pick it up, but it's so watery is this. So basically what I'm going to do is tip the, just put the edge in and it soaks it up, as you can see. But because of the shape of this, it's, it's square, so you can actually guide it on where exactly where you want to put it. See what I mean? It just goes in, it's like, it's like you're soaking it all up. No brush marks, nothing. How simple is that? Take your time. You don't need too much. How nice is that? Ain't so quick. And I think if I did it with a brush, I'd have drips everywhere. edge like that. What also I found is you know it's it's sort of recessed there you can just put that wet edge and just squish it in. And what I'm thinking is it's now going to because it's so watery it'll be sinking around the back and it'll be like a, a little extra coat just round the back there. So what Obviously I haven't filmed it, but what I did on the other side with the pieces, I, I left the, um, the masking tape on and for at least, I don't know, maybe four or five days after I finished work in here, I um, put my gloves on and I got this and I just went over the last job of the night. I just quickly went straight down each one and I was just, just as quick as that, just did it. And then next morning came back, it was dry, and I just kept layering it and layering it because it was so fast to do. I thought, well, I might as well put a coat on. Let's not put a coat on. Right, so that's coat number one. One of many. Because, like I say, once I've gone, I mean, by the way, this is the whole episode isn't revolving around these two because we, you've, I'm sure you've had enough of that in the last episode. We're now so as you can see on the other side, of course, what we've done is I've briefly shown you uh, me cutting the dowels and uh, basically sanding it down with my flat sander. Uh, that was a fairly coarse uh, grit to get right down and it's, not, it's sort of semi-smooth. And of course, you also saw me... Um, just put some sealant over it. But what will eventually happen is, as you can see on this side, we are now on the final stages of uh, this, these uh, straights being complete. So basically what has happened with this side is that I have used 180 grit uh, sandpaper. I did it by hand just to finish it off. Uh, and then I've gone over with the T-coil twice on both, uh, both items, it's slightly tacky still. And I will now leave that um, to dry. And then once it's dry, I will 
probably next week I will start with the matte varnish to seal it properly and then once that is done it will be then completely finished but uh, if the camera can pick it up you can see those dowels I was a bit concerned about them but to be honest they've, they, they look terrific and they are seat, they are well seated so I think um, overall I'm, considering this is something I've never done before I'm very very pleased with the finished article it's a shame by camera you can't feel how smooth they are they are really smooth uh, and it shows the grain up really well so yes there we go so if the other side goes as well as this I will be very very happy what it does mean is that it's making this up here rather ugly and this is something that I keep staring at and I'm thinking can I be bothered to remove this what I am going to do with it is I'm going to I'm going to fill these jo uh, joints and if I'm not happy or satisfied with them I'm going to rip them off but it is good it is you know it is good wood there's no rot anywhere I've cleaned out all the sections the dowels you know that they're, they're obviously not the same wood um, I'll I'll sand it and stain it and I'll, I'll have a look at it and reevaluate what I'm going to do with them but I'm, I'm also thinking of just putting something over here that will um, allow the water to run smoothly over it so it's how far you go I mean at the moment they look great and that doesn't look great but you know it, it could it could look good and I'm going to put the effort into it to see if I can create something with it but we'll stay tuned on that one so there we go so I shall crack on and... right so hello again and welcome aboard we're on the inside of the boat at long last so I'll just show you the uh, other side of those wood straights and how we finished them uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, seal up the, the, the lower ones uh, I'm not going to seal up the, the upper section uh, but I will seal um, uh, the lower bolts uh, with fiberglass uh, because they will be uh, covered and I won't be able to monitor those uh, so I'll just show you those before we move on to the next bit so just bear with me So if I zoom in, like so, you can see them there, nice and neat, and also the lower ones. So those are the ones I'm not going to um, cover and those ones I am going to cover. They were originally covered, the old ones were, you can see where I put fill there um, because uh, that was um, uh, an old hole that I decided that uh, I wasn't going to use. So I'm going to, f uh, it's sealed from the outside but it's, uh, I'm just going to make sure that it's sealed from the inside as well. So those on both sides are going to get covered. So, I shall zoom back out, like so, there we go. Right, so, next procedure. I took the liberty of um, finding the scrap bit of wood that's over there, and I've ripped on my ripsaw some 10 mil strips of, um, well, softwood, to be honest. Uh, and the reason for that is, first I, I decided on 10mm because A, it's flexible and also um, the insulating uh, product that I'm going to use is around 10mm thick as well. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to place like so around the perimeter of what will be the section that goes on the, uh, the, the side of the boat here and of course up there as well. 
but I'm not going to keep it in one section. I'm going to break it up into smaller sections so then it follows the contour of the boat. Uh, there might be even a, a joint here, so I'll have maybe two strips there. I don't, I'm not so sure yet. What I'll do is I will try and cut this piece out in one and if it doesn't work with me on the shape of this particular area, then I'll have to uh, make an incision. Uh, so I'm going to just chop these up with my jigsaw into smaller pieces and then I'm going to uh, adhere them to uh, the fiberglass. Uh, I'm debating whether to use, I have some grip, uh, grip fill uh, and obviously because I was in the carpet trade I've got quite a few uh, tubes of grip stick and we used to use grip stick to uh, stick the gripper rod to the floor and I'm thinking that might do quite nicely so I'm going to give it a whirl and use some of those tubes uh, tubes up and see where it takes me so that's going to be the next job and then the job after that will be stuffing in here this void with some rock wool I'm going to ram it as far as I can all the way up to the bow end uh, which is only to that end there with some rock wool because we want this well insulated because of course this is going to be the main sleeping area and uh, we want to be uh, nice and warm so that's what I'm going to do next so I'll just pause you yet again and uh, I shall chop these up into smaller pieces so I've just cut up uh, as you can see some of these equally sizes and the theory is that if I lay them like that like so in I think there we go. and then of course on the upper section do the same stick them up there all the way along I mean when I come round here I might have to cut them again and put them into smaller sections uh, and I'm just going to take them just slightly off this base panel because I've already cut, as you know, the, um, some of the oak ply, especially the one on the top here, and uh, I just want that to tuck under. So when I put the when the when I put the fascia on, uh, hopefully I'll get a nice even edge, and then I can just finish with a bead of some coloured mastic, possibly. I don't know yet. Uh, well, that's a theory. But before these get stuck on there, because it is soft wood and because it's uh, in a, a marine environment uh, I just want to make sure that these don't go rotten in any way I mean looking I mean they have used softwood uh, in uh, in this boat and some of it has been un untreated so but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just go over with that you know that Danish oil rag that I've got that I did those straights I'm just going to uh, wash them over with that just to give it a bit of protection before I stick them on I'm not even going to sand them down, they're just rough cut uh, because they're just going to be head anyway. But I think if I just coat them a bit, uh, it's just going to um, help them survive that bit longer. And nothing might happen to them, but you know, I might as well do it properly seeing as that we're at this stage. Uh, and then I'm going to um, just do a bit of fiberglassing here in these sections here and then put some rock wool in. So all being well, that should we'll squeeze that into the episode as well. So uh, I shall just give these a coat. You know what I do with that. There's no point me um, uh, videoing that. Um, so I shall carry on. See you in a minute. Okay, so. Some insulation. Now I don't know whether this is going to be the right thing or not, but to me it just feels, well it just feels like it has to be done and just feels right. So I'm just going to try it, see what happens. Uh, what I've done is I've released it all the way along so I can see how far it's gone, so I make sure it goes right to where I want it to go, which is obviously to that point there. So I'm just going to cut two lengths roughly and then I'm going to use um, an old flexible aluminium door plate that I've had lying around for ages I'm just sort of going to push it in all the way around because it bends 
uh, and see if this works. I don't know. How hard could it be? Let's have a try. Scissors. Right. Let's see if we can get some of this down there. to pieces. It might be better. Curiosity, I'll have a look, see how far it has gone down here. Oh wow. It's gone right to the end. Brilliant. Okay, well, the secret is, is to put it in in bits. Excellent. Right, we have success. Okay, so, as you can see, this by the way is the non-itchy one, it's, I think it's a wool mix, uh, it's not that dreaded fiberglass stuff. Uh, so, to me, that looks sensible, 
and I think uh, that'll make a world of difference. Um, that's, this isn't going to be used, uh, by the way, um, on those sections. That's going to be a 10 mm uh, sort of a foam uh, uh, with a reflector. It's going to be a bubble type of product that's going on there because it's too thick um, to be on there because I want to try and keep it as close to uh, the fiberglass structure as possible. I don't want it encroaching because we'll lose, we'll use, uh, that's a useful shelf and it's a nice feature and I think if I, if I go to town by putting this on, uh, I think, uh, well, I just think it'll be sticking out too much. So, obviously I've been doing this, uh, you've missed the fact that I've, I've just soaked those pieces of wood that you saw me uh, chop up, uh, they're all soaked in Danish oil so I'll leave those overnight. Uh, and then come back tomorrow and um, I think, well, actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll clean all these areas up ready for tomorrow. It's a boring bit so there's no point um, filming that. I'll get all these nice, nice and clean so then the uh, grip stick uh, will have plenty to adhere to uh, tomorrow. So uh, I, think, um, I think that's it for now. So remember at the very beginning when I said if you get the opportunity just before you finish to go quickly over it, that's exactly what I'm going to do now because that is dry. So obviously you saw me put the uh, first coat on. So this is how quick, it's, it's so easy and so quick and it's, it's just great. I love doing this because there's no effort involved at all. It's as if you're just cleaning it. So you just go straight across it. There we go, job done. How quick was that? You did that every night. There'd be layers and layers and layers of good stuff on there. Right, so see you in the morning. Okay, so here we go. Finished article. It's had enough coats. Everything is nice and smooth, the texture's good, uh, the colour's really good. I'm very pleased with it. All, it need, all I need to do now is take off the masking tape and forget about this part of the boat. So, the next bit will be on the interior, which is, yes, bring it on, because I'm quite tired of doing this side of the boat. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, thumbs up. Click on the little bell There's and no you'll bell. get... What? There is no bell on mine. I've looked for it. Well, maybe I don't want you to bell me. Get on with it. If there is a bell on your screen, please click the bell and I shall see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.